You mean to tell me all this form and it ain't no bud up here? Welcome home to Earthseed. My name is Pandora Thomas. We are at Earthseed Farm, a 14 acre organic orchard. My first position is to foster a space where people of African ancestry can come and relearn how we can heal our communities. Who wants to read that sign? <laughs> oh, you got jokes. Welcome black to the land. So the reason we say welcome black to the land is because this is a farm led by, owned, and run by black folks, but welcome for everybody. So what we're gonna be doing today at Earthseed is learning ways that our ancestors have been stewarding the land. We're also gonna just to get to learn the trees. This farm is not just about getting fruit and then leaving and that's it. We're having a relationship with everything that gives us life. The earth gives us everything we need if we would just look to her. We ask that before you pick fruit, you introduce yourself to the fruit. Cause it's giving us nourishment. It's giving us life. So come on this way. Okay, you're gonna introduce yourself. Hey, you look good. What's up with him, man? Nice to meet you. I think I want to taste it. Yeah. We're gonna gently turn it, harvest it, and then eat it. What do I do with the <coughs> seed? If you just put it on the ground, something else is gonna come get it. Everything is gonna go back into Third. the earth and the systems at the farm. Agreed. A pluot is a plum and apricot. Yeah. Plum and an apricot mixed together. Yeah, crossbreeding. Crossbreeding. So, so how grafting. they make the cotton candy grapes, though? Because them motherfuckers I'm talking about. Wait, what are cotton candy grapes? Hold on, hold on. Do you, hold on. We ain't about to be at the farm and you giving us all the game on the farm and then you don't Donald know about Donald the cotton candy grapes. No, are they? Oh, good. man. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, does this look like a plant anybody's ever seen before? Mm -mm. No, not so today. It's called mullen. It's a weed, meaning it's kind of growing and you didn't intentionally plant it, but it's beneficial. The leaves were used as toilet paper. You hear that, Masha? Uh-huh. So if you're ever out and you don't got no toilet paper, that's what our ancestors did. They used different leaves. They and used after them. eating them yeah. plum berries. Can I feel <laughs> Yeah. That shit look like And it. I'm actually gonna ask all of you to harvest your Wait, own mullen. that shit is Charmin salt. It's Charmin salt. I'm telling you, don't sleep on the mullen. This is a thousand uh, quilt. As a student, I would say that Marshawn, he gets a little bit distracted sometimes. Where's Marshawn? You ain't never felt nothing that damn salt. Marshawn. I mean, yes, Get over hello. Here. So this is mullen tea, iced tea. Yeah, I'll fuck with it. You will? Okay, all right, all right, all right. One of the largest contributors to landfills are clothing. Real talk, imagine if you could grow, harvest, dye your own outfit. My name is Grace Johnson, and I'm a fellow here at Earthseed Farm, working with Earth Materials as an artist and educator. So we're gonna be dyeing some of these shoes. Have any of you guys not dyed before? I mean, we're all dying, slowly, every day, every oh, second. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Huh? That was, that was dark. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to throw some plant material in the pot? Is it just, just water it's and just them leaves? just water and plant. Whipping in the kitchen like a stir fry. So what color do y'all think apple leaves would take? Oh, oh shit. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, OK. That's like yellow, yellow. That one's saucy. Mm -hmm. Boy, that shit smell like some stinking ass feet. <laughs> what? Let's go. Oh shit. That ain't no damn baby. <laughs> That's a big ass pig. Come on, I'm for your fanny. I ain't going in there. These are our Cooney Coon pig from New Zealand. We are not gonna eat these pigs, so I'm why do you think we have them? Soil. They poop, and their poop can help us build soil. But I'm gonna bring you all in shit. to feed That's them. What I'm not gonna do Yep. My favorite part of the day was petting the pigs. Easy. Uh, he really uh, wants to do uh, it. That thing sounds like he's getting frustrated. The pigs were so nice and like, they were like cuddly. <laughs> Hi, Marshawn. What's up, baby? How you doing? Will you come in if I go in with you? No. Marshawn. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Grab a fruit off of the ground and you'll be able to feed them from outside. What did I tell y'all last time? Seems like y'all don't remember. Peer pressure, I'm a grown ass man. Peer pressure don't work on me. Are you still not coming in me. the pig pen? I got on sandals, why am I going to pig pen with sandals on? Even though I'm in the lemon pepper steppers, I don't think it's gonna work. 
Um, I think he's a cool dude, and um, he's scared of pigs. <laughs> All right, everybody say goodbye to the pigs. Bye. We work together with our ecological systems, reclaiming our ancestral practices. We are gonna be all right. Marshawn, he has tattoos. He does like so much other stuff, but then he won't go by a pig. Like they was, they was just cool. They was cool pigs. I don't know what he was scared of. You know these kids nowadays, they just. He's scared of pigs, I guess. Now throw you under the bus while looking you right in your face. I saw the fear in his eyes. You know what I mean? I. <laughs> I honestly thought that he was just a chicken. Chicken what? Chicken. Getting chicken. That's about the only chicken I know. <laughs> what would you give yourself as a grade to that? Man, A plus. <laughs> 4.0. What you mean? Come on now. <laughs>